Okay, it's been ages since I even made a video. I don't even know if I have posted any of the other ones, but uh, the straps are going out of the tires and the shocks are going out of the tires from underneath the tires and a lot's been done to it. Um, some of them have been done in a rush, like the rear shocks uh, brackets. Just because I don't have, I haven't choose a shock that I actually like to make a, make them for or anything yet. But um, the steering is complete. Uh, we were pulling it out, and we have. Uh, I'm like turning the truck, and it feels like a four. <laughs> it has like no turning ratio. I had to turn like 50 times just to do it anything. Um, the custom made of Piedmont arm that I made uh, is pretty short and me and my on my innocence of building I didn't calculate for how much I was taking off and shorten it it would shorten the throw ratio of my steering so learn to be less on there uh, also um, dry shaft the dry shaft is binding on the back on the T case because of the angle that the dry shaft is, um, which is not really that extreme uh, per se. But I mean, you know, for a Chevy dry shaft, she's like freaking out. Uh, <laughs> so she's she's pretty clean, I will say. Uh, all the ABS sensors are plugged and. The wiring is plugged. The brake. We probably need to bleed, uh, bleed those even better. I need to install also the hydro boost from from the modern truck from the Duramax. Uh, so I have higher volume of feed to the brakes because now I have two piston calipers all around. So instead of dealing with only two pistons and two tiny uh, drum brake cylinders, I'm dealing with eight pistons and massive brakes. So you know you guys do the calculation um so the front i we end up cutting the and i know this is clean yet because it's not done so i'm not ashamed to show you guys but this bracket right here just cut it with the torch real quick and but this is where the cross member goes that goes right underneath your gearbox which is a pain to where with your gearbox if it's here so so you know what let's go ahead and cut it is not stuck anyway and it's gonna be on the way of everything later on and if I need to service it and I'm on the oh my gosh if I would be on the mod or whatever and this thing was there it would that would be a pain so cut it off get out of the way and there it goes you have a good box that you can take a pitman arm out in 15 minutes and put the other one back so that's that and what, what I did is I went and reformed the front with a 4x4 thick display like it's like a 316 so it's way thicker than what it came with and way thicker than whatever the frame is made out of uh, it's weld all around very nice hot pass and then the brackets for the front of the uh, lip springs they are also welded tied up bolts and nuts are what it's supposed to be now and it's it's pretty nice. Uh, I'll say that this is this is not done. It's probably not even close to be done. This is more of like, let's get her on the road. Let's see what she does. Let's see how she feels and go from there. Uh, because I'm going to put brand new rotors all around, brand new calipers all around, brand new shocks all around. Because I'm going to put my kit in here. There is a bracket for the shocks. Shock sitting on a pretty good angle. Uh, that bracket is going nowhere uh, you know wiring and hoses there is your brake line hose and you know that's also not going anywhere but I also gotta see how much trouble I'm gonna end up having because maybe if I have more I'm actually gonna have to get a longer hose or something like that uh, but I don't know those are the stock four and a four had it you know and they're pretty much like barely coming out of the top of the, of the tire. So I'll say that I have put a pretty good stretch. But I guess I know once I stretch it. 
Um, I'll say that I have, I don't know, two feet of clearance right here on the frame. Uh, the dry shop, the dry shop is pretty good. Uh, the pinion seal, I think I'm gonna have to replace it, which is not a big deal at all. Uh, these are the brackets that I was telling you guys that I heard. You guys can see the the peanut welds, horrible welds right there on the on the diff. That's what I'm gonna do right there as it is. I'm gonna end up running a bracket just like that, facing towards the shock. Well, not towards the shock, but a little bit closer than that. And probably I move and build a bracket right on top of it. Uh, I am not gonna buy 300 water shocks. I will be out of my mind if I do that. I'd rather, I'd rather build myself some nice shocks, a standard size, and then just make a bracket right here. You know, make a nice bracket right here, weld it, and call it a day. And if I need to service it, the bracket and the screw will be right here anyway. And you can just take them out and pull them back in. I'm not gonna buy. No, sir, I'm not gonna buy $300 shocks. Um, I still have to cut the bolts, the bottom of the bolts on the U bolts. I don't wanna do none of that until I know for sure what we end up doing. Um, the parking brake cable uh, feels alright. Psych. Feels horrible. I have to have to redo that. Um, I kind of just put it right here with a massive bolt and a knot. Again, I'm not ashamed to show you guys nothing because it is what it is. Not all builds go according to what we want. And, you know, his tension over here, and this, I mean, this bolt is massive. And this bracket is massive. It's, it's putting a lot, a lot of tension in here. But I can feel that I can have even more. I can put more tension on it. I can also adjust the drums because I don't know. I don't even know if they're adjusted or not. So once I check that, I might not even need to adjust it. But this way, I know realistically what length do I need to do anything. Uh, so that's that. And she's still pretty good. Uh, to be honest, I like it. I've been liking the project. Uh, what else we did? Oh, the sway bar. So now she's going to have a decent, a very decent sway bar. Look at the brackets over there uh, she's gonna have a very good sway bar versus what you know Chevy comes with from factory and they're a little bit uh, towards the back of the truck but that's you know clearance you have a real a lot of real estate in here a lot of stuff fighting for space and you know what's gonna be what and to be honest <clears throat> this is the way that it fits uh, now this bracket right here with that angle bracket and everything that that bracket by itself is a lot of work that's a lot of hours so i'll say each bracket has i don't know 15 hours that's a lot of hours just because there's nothing out there there is no pictures there is not nothing that you can base yourself off and this is not just me and people helping me my helper been helping me a lot with this and even even like that it still took a lot of hours just because you I mean you just don't know exactly where nothing's gonna end up where you're gonna put anything you can't base anything out of nothing there's no pictures out there there is nothing out there and um, I'm trying to build it as strong as I can um, they, again they're not even painted because they're not done <laughs> excuse that um, they're not even done, and it's still so much to do in here uh, to get here even uh, to something close to being complete. Um, I do like the way that she sits. I really, really like it. Um, Um, she sits pretty high, it looks pretty mean, it looks nice, and it looks clean. But uh, I'll finish the front end. I'm gonna make a really nice, clean bumper. I'm not gonna make a bumper that is gonna give it John Cena's chin <laughs> or anything like that. I'm not gonna make something crazy. I'm not gonna make a big bumper. I'm gonna put a 
trailer hitch receiver at the front so I can put a winch. Take it in, take it out, no problems. Uh, also my bumper, I want to be able to unscrew it in, screw it out by myself without a winch or a bobcat or anything. So I want to do that. But anyway, uh, I would like to be here all night making videos about the truck. But I've been doing that lately a lot and no videos but working a lot on it. And I gotta take the keto to bed and do a lot of stuff. But God bless you all. And take care. Pals and friends. Take care a lot. God bless you all.